Good morning, good morning, good morning. And for those, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Um, I was in here just getting some things in order. And I was doing some cleaning. What's going on? Good morning, good morning. I am Tiffany Empire Impact Ignite. That's what I'm all about. I just wanted to share for whoever um, may need to hear this. A few years ago, I had um began doing some vision boards and a lot of people don't understand the concept of vision boards sometimes you can do a vision board with just words just words just words no pictures and then i have some vision boards that do have um pictures can i get my phone um thank you And then you can have vision boards that, um, then you can have vision boards that basically have pictures as well. But I'm saying this to say, I'm going to share the journey. And again, I am Tiffany Empire and Pay Ignite. I just added my Facebook fam down here. Um, it's been about three years. This, this. Yeah, this time of the year has been at least three years. And three years ago, I should have put the date on this. Um, put the date on y'all go um, when y'all set these goals. Um, it says my goal is to keep to is to keep to myself and to pour into who wants what I have to offer genuinely. That was one goal, mind you. On this vision board, I only made three three things. That was my focus. Um. And I say that because the more you understand who you are, the more you understand why you're, you know, what you're called to do, what's your mission and different things like that. Your mindset, things start changing. They start shifting. So I did that. That has literally um, manifested into a whole movement. What's going on? Good morning. My goal was to keep to myself, but, and it says, and, but I, I knew that I still had to pour into people. I know I needed to pour into people, but I couldn't force myself to pour into people that just didn't want to receive what I had to offer. So that's where Reclaim Your Pearls girls um, come in at. And they wanted it genuinely. You know, not just trying to use me for whatever, whatever they needed. Because at the end of the day, I have, I love to help people either way. So a lot of times it's good to not let your what you love to do be stunted or stopped by the impure motives of other people so i'm just sharing um my visions from over the past three years so it can make sense because i'm about to put it up like store them away <laughs> um for later on but i wanted to share today because maybe it may of course help somebody um to not give up um, continue to grow in God and stop crying from being mistreated and overlooked. Do my thing and don't let them haters stop me. That was one. Of, this is a this is my vision board from three years ago. I wish I would have actually put the date um, that I did it. Um, and it's only three points. I know some people may think that vision boards have to have pictures. I do have um, a couple others over here on the side and they do have pictures. But this was a place in my life where I was tired of certain things so i had to get a couple set a couple goals and achieve them so when y'all seeing me hashtag and we you know talking about reclaiming our pearls and being queens and different things like that it was some things that had to personally take place behind the scenes it didn't like happen overnight but i had to begin to just assess where i was and guess what i've continued to grow in god and I've stopped crying about being mistreated. Like sometimes you you be like, dang, this person doing me this way, this person doing me that way. And a lot of times you just crying and just feeling like you don't know what to do, where to go and different things like that. A lot of stuff comes from within. A lot of stuff comes from having a made up mind. Um, and many of us, many times we are overlooked. Some of the greatest people, you know, are overlooked and don't don't worry about it you continue to keep doing what it is that you're doing like some people that's engaging and doing stuff on my page now um we may have been connected 
or we may have um, not been connected initially. But one thing I know when I go to my next vision board, I was in a particular situation and I was overlooked like you wouldn't believe um but i went to an event what was crazy and that same individual that was trying to overlook me or you know basically didn't know who i was confirmation came and it was like wow i didn't know that was you you know why you ain't said nothing a lot of times people want you to go out your way to be like oh i'm this person i'm this person and if you the type of person that try to do a lot of name dropping you don't gotta drop no name just be yourself do your thing do not let haters stop you don't let people or you're overthinking or whoever it is, um, stop you. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, your gift is going to make room for you. And I'm living proof of that. So, um, my third point. Again, good morning. I hope y'all had an amazing weekend. Um, my third goal was to build my strengths by connecting with godly women that can edify each other in different areas of life. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This I wrote this over three years ago, if not like at three, but it's probably going on over like three years ago. And literally all of these goals have been accomplished and they have fruit to go with it. But this right here just started when I had. And that's why I'm going to go into this. This is me just sharing some of my vision um, boards. Now, this one. Mind you, y'all, I'm about to put this stuff up because it done been a minute. Um, I basically had a awakening. An awakening. That's what was going on. I didn't even realize what was going on. And sometimes when God is, you know, shifting us and, you know, just doing what he do best inside of us. Because a lot of things is an inside out thing. Um, now I'm able to look back. That's why I just wanted to share because, um, sometimes you got to write things down and, you know, look back at, um, what is taking place and what has happened, happened. I know a lot of people are very materialistic, but certain things, I believe that if we're just strengthened from the inside out, our mindset and different things like that. It allows you to be able to navigate this thing called life like way better because things gonna come and go. One of the things <clears throat> um that I did put is to set ground rules. At this point, once I've been, you know, having not just a natural awakening, basically a spiritual awakening. Um, being elevated to another level. I knew that I needed to set some ground rules. I knew that I couldn't, you know, get burned out. And because I am a mother of three, at this time when I did this vision board, I was married, but I still had like a lot of weight on me. I, I felt pretty much still a single mom in spite of no, you know, and, you know, no shade or anything like that. But boys, you know, I got this boy's life. They like to have fun. Children like to have fun. But as a mother, you cannot allow yourself to get burned out. So you have to, um, you know, see yourself, you know, not getting burned out, not getting burned out. I mean, I got to set some rules. I got to put some things in place. I got to get some things in order. And that's why even this year when y'all seen when we got shut down initially at the beginning of the year was um, get your house in order. Get your house in order when we begin to get things in order then god can begin to bless um as you can see i did put i got this little knife oh y'all can't see i'm talking about as you can see i got this little knife um kitchen set because i don't cook a lot but if i cook i want to cook with the best tools i want to use uh, if i'm whatever area or whatever i'm operating in, i want to have the best tools to make sure i'm executing what i need um this is something else that stood out um I, I i'm old school i don't know mary like that but mary popping you know what i'm saying this is a nice it shows the she just reminded me of me um because when i did this vision board i think casey might have just turned one yeah casey might have just turned one so you know when you have a child and you just going through the woes of that pregnancy and different things like that. It's like, okay, I'm back. I'm bouncing back. So it was like she's returning. Um, but she still got this like chill 
about her. Like, I just could feel all that right there. And then she's popping. She got her hat and things like that. But she was doing, like, a return. So, she got the bow tie. Like, it's nobody swag is, like, Mary Poppin'. Like, she just got this her own thing about her. So, um, and this kind of goes with the word that um God sent to me the other night like I'm just so grateful so I'm just looking back but just real quick because I'm I'm getting excited and I'm just about to fully embrace what is coming next um better homes better homes and garden like think about um um better homes and garden oh god better homes and garden um better homes that is something that is still connected to um why i do what i do why i say what i say um because better homes are important not just my home but when i do make my home better um it does um set my sons up to be uh you know better what else what else um fill up for days that's something that stood out to me this fill up for days. Mind you, this is an old vision board. I'm just sharing. Um, fill up for days. I remember um, this year, I told myself, I will not go on E. I will not allow anything to deplete me to the point that I'm just empty, exhausted, and drained. And let me tell you, when you set rules and you make up your mind, then you are not going to be around here on E. That's like trying to drive a car on E. You're going to mess around and blow the motor. You're going to mess around and test something up. So what do you think um, happens to us? So what else? I got this flashlight right there. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Worth it. That's where the thing at. Nourish strength, soft tone, softener, tone, comfortable skin. So, yeah, I've been, my skin be crazy, but I be trying to do what I need to do instead of a little regimen. Um, worth it. You got to know that you are worth it. Like, sometimes the smallest thing can make you feel so invaluable, but you got to know that you're worth it. And this right here bolder than ever because you're worth it again like when you begin to have confidence in you know how god created you who he's created you to be there is a sense of boldness that you will get and you don't have to be apologetic about it just because you bold that don't mean you're not humble um and it doesn't mean that you're not meek but these was just some things that i saw in me i guess my vision boards was just really speaking to the end of me Enter me, enter me, enter me. Age perfect. Listen, I see me aging perfectly. I don't see me <laughs> brown here looking 10 and 20 years, 30 years older than my age. I am 33. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, this, I wrote this about three years ago. And it is, it is happy. I mean, I'm talking about it is happy. To my heart and happy. Happiness is a choice for those that do not know. Happiness is a choice. Um, and I've I've been choosing to be happy. I don't let situations dictate or try to well, joy is a state of being. Happiness is a choice. What's going on? Um these abs. I'm still working on these. I got these abs right here on this thing here. These abs, I, I feel some coming in at the top, but they not all the way there. So that may be something that need to continue to be in, in my foresight. I'm going to have some abs before it's all over. Again, before it's all over. Um, Boom, this lady been scratching this great skin and cover story. So this was just, oh, and then um, joy. Look, joy, joy. joy that's what that say i saw myself you know full of joy and then i had got this in the mail one day i appreciate bishop jake's ministry it says manifest his glory this is the year so god has been um showing himself strong and mighty 
Um, these right here, like I said, these are examples of just goal setting. A vision board is pretty much goal setting. You want to make your vision board um, practical as well. I just wanted to share these two this morning. I don't, you know, it's fourth quarter. We're we're winding down. We're preparing for 2021. Listen, how do you see yourself? What do you need to reclaim? What do you need to see? Sometimes your vision is blocked. Sometimes your vision is blocked. And I'm telling you, the way I was able to see last year after a disconnection and stuff was made, it was it was like mind blowing. Like I could see, you know, but I'm telling you, when you have poor connections and you're not connected to the right people, I knew in my first vision on that first vision board, that goal setting that I did, I needed to get connected to a certain type of people. And that coming year, everything that I wrote, these three little goals that I wrote down, it led to those connections it led to those things happening and each time things happening it begins to unlock and unleash certain things so today is sunday i don't know what type of week you have ahead of you i don't know what type of week you just came from out of but let me tell you get focused be intentional get excited about what god is about to do in your life get excited about what he is about what he is um cultivating inside of you but remember without a vision the people perish without a vision so if things are falling down and crumbling ask yourself do you have vision can you see do you have clarity it is too many people that god is raising up to just step into that leadership role to help out the other people so if you're one of those people and you need help and I'm, I may or may not be the one that you would want to get help from. But I'm telling you, I see so many people doing amazing things. And I'm so excited about what is coming. Get focused. Get focused. Be intentional. Get excited. Because guess what? Greater is coming. Um, we do have um, we do have a show coming up. A winter in Africa um december the 26th if you're interested in being a model a sponsor a vendor um making a donation we do have the event live on event bright i am tiffany i am the founder of dynamic dance community development one way that we can grow as a community is we begin to unite and work together because guess what whether y'all like it or not we need each other. We need each other as a culture, as a people. We need to understand black lives matter. All lives matter. Listen, we got work to do. But guess what? Ministry starts at home. A better you, a better you is a better community. A better you is a better household. So when I say reclaim your pearls, if you haven't joined us, that is our Facebook group. We don't have that group or page yet on IG. Um, hopefully, it'll be coming soon. But we do be hashtagging, you know, Reclaim Your Pearls, girls. Because there's so many women that are out here and just perishing, you know, looking for love in all the wrong places. But guess what? You got some things that you need to get. So, don't don't get so sidetracked to where you do not you allow life just to pass you by you know i tell my son a lot of times don't just don't let life do you you do life you know what i'm saying you do it and get around some people that can help you achieve some things what's going on good morning everybody so reclaim your pearls we, we're doing that and if you're a brother and you got some things on your chest, some conversations you need to have. We got a group. What about the black man? What about them? I believe that is very important that we um embrace and encourage um the men um more than ever before because a lot of them are dealing with some inner um turmoil, some inner issues, some inner insecurities as well, some inner things that they feel in some type of way but it's nothing worse than feeling some type of way and you feeling like nobody don't care about what you have to say i'm here to let you know we care you matter um and i'm excited about what god is doing in the lives of his people again i am tiffany empower impact ignite that is what i'm about um, i'm 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 grateful for the opportunity and i thank all of you for tuning in sharing engaging connecting um, it is really a, a, a joy. It's really a blessing to be able to, um, see that some of the things and 
that I'm saying it matters. It, it makes a difference in some people's lives. And even if it's just for one person, I get excited about that. It don't have to be for everybody, even if it's one person. And I get testimonies all the time. Like, girl, I appreciate you saying that. I needed to hear that. I appreciate it. So all glory go to God. Y'all have a blessed day. Be encouraged. Make sure you show the love and be the love that you're looking for. Be it. Walk in it. Um, walk in it. So, blessings. Y'all have a good one.